Well, Dr. Ashton here answering questions that you all have sent in. Let's start with the first one. Can you contract COVID-19 from eating takeout food? Can the virus be passed through the food? Is this your question? It's not, but I am very curious to hear this one. So the good news here is there is no evidence that this is a concern. Remember, this is a respiratory virus. The air is the major route of transmission. Even surface contact not thought to play a major role. And then we have to remember in terms of food and potential for foodborne illness, Stomach acid and cooking temperature kills a lot of pathogens. So don't worry about takeout with respect to COVID. All right, now the next question. What is the likely cause of these adverse reactions to the Johnson & Johnson vaccines we've seen in Colorado and North Carolina. So this hit the headlines, you guys, as you know, kind of at the end of the day yesterday, and a lot of people getting the wrong information from this headline. The CDC has not, I want to emphasize, has not put on pause any administration or distribution of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine because of these possible side effects. Now, not just Colorado, but Iowa, North Carolina, Georgia, they had several people, a handful of people yesterday, have what's being considered the typical side effects, dizziness, shortness of breath, some fainting, we call that vasovagal syncop syncope, um, all in the realm of expected side effects. They did lot analyses for those doses. They, they saw no safety concerns whatsoever. So we have to remember right now, four and a half million J&J &J doses have been, have been administered. When you vaccinate that many people, you will see some of those side effects occurring in higher numbers. That does not mean there's a safety concern. All right, question number three. This one is for me as I live in lower Manhattan, <laughs> the financial district. Yeah. If you live in an area where there are a lot of deer, uh, should you be concerned about ticks and Lyme disease? What's the proper way to check for ticks? You I am from the deer? south. No, I don't down there, but I, I am from the south. And yes, this was a big thing when I was growing up. And dearborn illness is major in various parts of the country, especially in this season. So yes, if there are deer in your area, you absolutely should be concerned with them. You want to wear high socks. You want to walk on paths in the middle, not through tall grass. And you want to inspect your entire body, even if someone else has to help you do that, including checking all hairy areas very, very well because Lyme disease, babesiosis, uh, major issues. All right. You can submit your questions to Dr. Jen on her Instagram at Dr. J Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.